Hi, everybody, and welcome to the second round of the National Invitation Tournament. Stay tuned, as this should be a good one between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Georgia Bulldogs. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? Tell you what, it looks like a minema, but you never know if they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and they can put pressure on favor. Are facing one of the toughest opponents of the season, Dick. Do they win? The keys are these. First of all, don't give up any easy uncontested shots from behind New York. Find those shooters. Next, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get their big men into foul trouble. Lastly, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. I think right now, got to focus defensively. And the ball goes out of bounds. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Perfectly executed. And they're working around the arc for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Goes up for two. Down inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Number two is fired up right now emotional. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for contact. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. Tries for two. Way off target. Number 21 takes the feed. Tries a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. On the dribble, gives it up. The frustration right there. Number 21. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He steps up to the line. Makes it. The shooting guard gets the ball. High post player flashing. Went away from the post and goes the other way. For two, perfectly executed. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Now 
now trying to feed the low block. Number 33 gets the pass. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, straight up front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. The ball goes out of play. The shooting guard takes the pass. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Only the replay can do this justice. Gave it up, turns it over. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The power forward with the ball. Defensively try to stay with his man. He's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Is the three. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He looks at the hoop. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. the pass showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup with anticipation defensively there it is Cham City time to pick up the defense here now for the bucket he ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket They work the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Entry pass in the paint. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Trying to feed the low block. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He fakes the shot. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Number 42 picks up the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. They go into the low block. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He intercepts it. Now they work it around the perimeter. He gets the rejection. Steals a pass. In all alone. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Get a burst of ball from shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Looking for a good shot. 
Kicks it out. Buries it. Working it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. Easy one. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, he waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Fake. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. There's the screen up on top. Looking for the foul. Here's one more look at it. Number 14 is called for the foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the coaching staff told me before the game that all this pregame hype wouldn't be a factor, and it looks as if they were right. Thanks, Aaron. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. Ohio State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Number 42, pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. High post screen, gonna use it. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He shoots from right of the circle. Number 33 drains the tray. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Both teams looking to get things going here. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. the dribble gives it up tries to turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move he goes with a jump hook I tell you great job protecting the basketball getting deep post position and the jump hook is so effective picked out of the air Two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. 
Gave it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Number 14 is whistled for the foul. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Shoots it. Off the rim and no good. He attempts the three. Gets it to go. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart and the ball goes out of play he's got the man in the high post if he can get it there goes up for two great play to take that to the basket Assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Look at that space. Picked off. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Moving it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He launches a three. Makes the shot. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. The ball goes out of bounds. From way outside. Oh, yes. the inside tries for two I love this guy hook you cannot block that shot he gets that ball in deep hey Brad why don't more guys use it jumped in front to take it away and a momentary look from three point land good fake he shoots from the elbow way off target he buries the shot. <laughs> Trying to draw the foul. He waited for the screen and dropped in a nice inside hoop. <laughs> On 
on the dribble, gives it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Nice fake. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Georgia are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. From three-point territory, goes. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Got to make that baby at a wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for easy deuce. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. On the dribble, gives it up. Strips the ball. Transition opportunity coming up with authority. Let's take a look right here. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. And again, they look to run. For two, he buries it. the perimeter he tries to knock down the three Georgia are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. hey they're really starting to cook on offense intercepted on the dribble gives it up great defensive play anticipated well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action with the fake the Buckeyes have a mismatch in the post. He rejects it. And back they come the other way. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. They work the perimeter. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. That was nice. We got to see that one again. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Shot clock is dead. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They get it out into transition. Takes it off and here they go into transition. Both squads seem to be incapable of slowing things down. It's like an indoor track meet out there. No kidding. If they keep this pace up, who knows what the final score will be. At the end of the first half, the Buckeyes are ahead by eight. Dick, what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair? You have to talk about this trifecta for the highlight of the first half, Brad. After this shot, you really saw the defense have to stretch out, which opened up the inside game. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. 
Georgia is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. This is kind of what we expected, uh, Richard. You know, going into this ball game, we didn't expect it to be close in the first half, and it wasn't. They're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential they go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything, baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Here's the three ball. Goes in. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. You guys got the replay ready up there? Here we go. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He takes the shot from the baseline. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The replay reveals the deal, baby. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Talking out the turnovers either. Hammers it down. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Georgia are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Looking to move it around the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really does do a great job of sealing them off. Goes to the line. Rims off. Gets the second shot. And there they miss one. He takes the rebound. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries for two. He gets that one to fall. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Now they work it around the perimeter. For two. Buried it. Gave it up. 
Entry pass in the paint. Here's a double team. Oh, what a strip, Red. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. off the pass. And this one's going to be a backcourt violation. Got to make good decisions with the ball, Brad. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. There's a high screen. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They work it back to the outside. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. He drains the bucket. On the dribble, gives it up. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. team now that angle what a great steal defensive player was really right on top of that basketball work it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job a uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot Ohio State are showing signs of a good run here Dick they look like they put it together for a moment hey let's see how long they can keep it up gave it up the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Moves not going to work against him. and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you what, emotion, what an edge for the home team. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the lazy pass. They push it up on the break. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Stolen. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Steals a pass.
top of the circle. You betcha. Let us show you the replay on that one. Picks off the pass. Well, that's basic. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Takes the pass in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. With a jump hook. They still don't score. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He gets it to go. Shoots way off target. Goes for the deep one. That's good. With a bucket, perfectly executed. Watch this. It's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Trying to draw some contact. Up and in. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Sinks the shot. They'd like to get it inside to the block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Puts up the tray. There was no doubt about that one. Charged with the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul at all. Look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted. Gave it up. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They take it off the defensive glass. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to. for two. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Fakes it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, the favorites are in shock. Players are just shaking their heads in disbelief, and the coaching staff, they're just looking for answers there on the hardwood. All right, thanks, Aaron. out of play. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. Here's a flash from the post up high. 
Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defense. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Looking for a good shot. Looking for a good shot. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Looking for contact. Watch again. Excellent spacing. That's so important. A little good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Steals the ball. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Georgia have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. The power forward handles the pass. Stolen ball. Dumps it in. That right there is exactly what they expect from him, Dick. Hey, Brad, he's expected to do all the things that will put them in a position to win at the end of the day. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to drive the ball. Pushes it up for the deuce. Team right. and how shooters shoot. And now they'll bring it up. The land. Dump it inside. Sets the screen for his teammate. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. For two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. The fake puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Jumped in front to take it away. He tries the three ball. Rims out. The lay -in. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with the block shot. The small forward gets the ball. He gets that one to fall. 
Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He tries the three. He gets the shot to fall. Look at this effort. He gives him the fake. Got an open look if he wants it. Picked off. The point guard takes the feed. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Stolen. The center receives the pass. Finger roll. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have a great post play. you got a chance really to win. The center receives the ball. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Ohio State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps into the defender. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure into basketball. On the outside. He shoots from outside. He buries the shot. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. You got to keep pressing. He shoots from the angle. He makes the shot. The center with the ball. We go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. That's worth another look. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Dick, what do you do with a seven-point lead? Hey, they keep playing and continue to do what's gotten them this far, Brad. Can't change now. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Shot clock is dead. There's a double team waiting there. Clock stop with a foul. <laughs> and they continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Number 14 goes to the line for the one and one. Makes the front end of the one and one. Second shot, good. Time out, we'll take one too. We'll be back in a moment. What kind of energy are we looking 
looking after that timeout, Dick. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. He goes for the trifecta. Scorches the net. Wow, and that stops the clock again. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brandon, bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Sinks it. Had a momentary look from three-point land. With a block. The offense is having a hard time finding the open look. Great defense. Well, Deck, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I think they should have won, and they couldn't find a way to get anything done tonight. Yeah, they really want to get to the locker room, post the W, and move on. And they do it because, number one, they're unselfish. They share the rock, baby. They know how to give it up. They always make that one extra pass that leads to that extra good shot. Georgia find themselves on the losing end of a good game. I don't think anyone expected them to pull out a win tonight. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.